What's going on guys, my name is Connor and today I've reviewed for you guys on the Louis Vuitton or Kerr denim key ball in a size 50. I'll be breaking down all the details of this bag as well as trying it on. So if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to like subscribe button as it really, really does help out my channel and give videos to more people. And while you're at it, make sure you claim your four free socks on Weeble by clicking the link below. All you gotta do is sign up, you get two socks for free, you get another two after your first deposit. So without further ado, let's get right into the review. Alright guys, so just before I unzip the bag, try it on, everything else, I want to go over a few details including the retail cost and when it came out. This bag was put out in spring summer of 2019, it was obviously put out by Virgil Abloh and it retailed at $2530. Most likely if you guys are watching this video right now, you guys have not seen this bag anywhere else because prior to making this video I looked all over YouTube to see if any other creator had put out a video on this bag and they haven't. I've also never really seen it listed on any marketplace and I'm in all these videos. Facebook groups, I shop on Grailed, I look on eBay, and I really cannot find this bag anywhere. When I was talking to a few other big sellers um, about the comps or the comparisons of this bag to kind of come up with the cost for it and a value, and also to see how rare it was, they said it was extremely limited. The market is somewhere between four and five thousand dollars, and there might also be a blue one, but I'm not I am not a hundred percent sure because when looking on StockX, I was able to find this bag, but I was not able to find the blue one, and I really wasn't able to find the blue one anywhere but it is a denim key ball you guys can kind of see the material right here which makes it very distinct from many other key balls obviously they have the canvas which is a lot different um, has it definitely has a way different feel than this bag and also something that definitely separates it is the hardware this is one of the only Louis Vuitton key balls that has gold toned hardware most of them are going to be silver toned including the bag right here, which is the uh, 45 Damien Ajour, you guys can see the, or Damien Graphite, you guys can see the silver hardware right there. You can also see this key ball, which is uh, silver hardware as well, and the Eclipse. I'll have to do a video on this bag sometime soon. But getting back to this one, this one is going to be a size 50, meaning anytime that Louis Vuitton or Goyard sizes a bag in a size 50 or whatever for their duffels, it just means that from here to here in length, is going to be 50 centimeters. So it's definitely very sizey. It is a bag that you can carry on if you guys are going onto a plane. Um, and I believe the biggest size that you can take on is a size 55 and Louis Vuitton calls that cabin size. So I'll just give it a little spin for you guys before I unzip it. Um, you guys can see the handles right here, which are super crisp. And when I say that, uh, it's kind of just like sneakerhead terms um, for saying that they're in very good condition as well as the straps right here. And then on this side, you guys will be able to see the bandolier hanging down right there. And also the sides look good. Um, you guys can see right here, the very bottom, very good condition, not used very much and definitely very well taken care of. Um, I actually bought this second hand from another very trusted seller. And for those of you guys who are looking to authenticate, the three things that I always recommend is first looking at the quality of the bag, because if the stitching and whatever else, you guys can see stitching right here, is not up to par to Louis Vuitton um, standards, meaning that they're not even, they're not leveled or whatever, you don't need to look any further, the bag's obviously fake. And most of the fakes will actually do a pretty good job with their stitching. So to look past that, you guys are gonna to wanna to look at the date code as well as the heat stamp. And most of you guys won't really know what to look for in those. So I recommend you guys use an authentication service such as Pro Authenticators. They're $10 an item. They pay me absolutely nothing to promote them, but they are a service that I like to use when purchasing expensive items by Louis Vuitton, second hand. And so now that we have this bag unzipped, uh, first I'll show you guys the little zipper right here. Uh, Louis Vuitton, it'll say right there, obviously gold toned along with the rest of the hardware. And it's a double zipper. So right here, right here, obviously it's unzipped. And then here you guys are gonna have a zip pocket for small items. We'll see if I can undo this with one hand. Yes, I can. And you'll have a decent amount of room in here. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that. I'll try to put it in the light. And in here we will actually have the lock a spare lock and a spare key, or the lock and key actually. Um, I'll pull it out for you guys real quick. I actually forgot that, that was in there. I'll be completely honest with you guys. Um, I've actually been looking for that for a bit. So that's something good. Um, I'll just take it out right here. You guys can see Louis Vuitton Paris. You guys can see it has two keys right here. Obviously you guys can stick it in here put them together and it basically just takes away the ability to unzip it. So that's something kind of cool if you're going on a plane or whatever and uh, 
someone might try to take your bag, they won't be able to unlock it, or if you're just setting it down somewhere, it might be a little bit less appealing if they know that they're not even gonna have access to what's on the inside of the bag. So this is considered the smaller key ball. Obviously there, this is considered the smaller dust bag. Obviously there's a bigger dust bag as well, um, but I do not have that. But in here, you guys can see there's there's quite a bit of space in here. Um, this is where I put like smaller accessories, maybe more precious goods in there. Like if I was holding like a wallet or any jewelry, maybe like a watch especially. And then when I say heat stamp, some of you guys don't know what that is. So here is what it looks like right here. Um, you guys can see Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. And this is how it should look. It should, it should look reflective. I should It should be in this shape. Um, the font should be the way it is here. And I'm not saying that to say that fakes can't become this good because there are a lot of really good fakes but just to give you guys an idea of what it should look like here is a very good example and then obviously we have a lot of spaciousness on the inside right here enough to hold maybe four to five outfits max uh, maybe three if you're a girl because you're obviously gonna have uh, more accessories and probably more to your outfits and also, when looking for the date code, you guys are going to want to go up and flip this upwards and then look under right here. And that is where you guys are going to find the date code on some of the more recent key balls. Hopefully I can show you guys that if it'll focus uh, right here. Hopefully you guys can see that right above the hardware. And each of the little um, bolts, I don't know what you would call those, the little circle things right here, will say Louis Vuitton very small on them. Hopefully you guys can see that. But Louis Vuitton definitely adds a lot of little details to their items, making them Louis Vuitton and definitely separating them from their competition and uh, keeps them a staple and keeps them relevant for as long as they've been around. Um, and then just turning around, you guys will see that the other side won't have as many features because it doesn't have a pocket, it won't have the decoder or anything else. But I think that's good. The point of a key ball in my eyes is just to be a big duffel bag. So the fact that I have so much room in the big part of the interior to hold whatever I need as well as a small zip pocket for maybe smaller, more precious items that I needed access to easier just makes it a well-rounded bag that not only looks good but is very, very functional. And then before I try it on, I'll show you guys right here. Obviously, I already showed you guys the zipper right here as well as the hardware. Um, but obviously, you'll say Louis Vuitton right there in very small font. And then here is the bandolier strap that does come with this key ball. Um, not all key balls, especially a while ago, came with these. You used to have to buy them separately. But I believe all the newer ones actually come with this. Um, and then obviously, it's completely adjustable. And some of you guys who have not owned a key ball before are wondering what this is. This is just the part that rests on your shoulder to make it a little bit more comfortable. And then obviously right here, we have many different options for where we want to pin it, if that makes sense, to um, adjust to whatever frame you are. So obviously, if I were to pin it at, I believe this is a loosest setting. So you guys can see it's on the very end right here. So it's gonna be as low as possible on your body. And then obviously if you're a shorter person who might be a little bit skinnier than I am, um, you guys can put it right here or anywhere in between to fit it exactly how you want. So whether you're tall, um, big, whatever, um, you, it'll fit however you guys want it to. So don't even worry about that. And then while I was digging a little bit deeper into this pocket, I also found the hand tag, which I was actually wondering why it wasn't attached. Um, to be honest, I buy a lot of this stuff and I set it down or collect it or end up selling it and I really don't go through it too much. I just make sure the condition's there and that it comes as described. But this is obviously the tag that you guys can put on here, you can put it on the top and you can add your initials at the store or you can put like your little ID in here, um, whatever you want to do. And then obviously this right here will also go along with it. So nice little things, nice little compliments. And I also love that they go with the color of the key ball and aren't just a basic color like black like they have on these, you guys can see they're just plain black. They actually use the orangish color that they actually have on the key ball. And whenever I was sending pictures to people of this key ball, some people were saying it was yellow, some people were saying it's orange. So let me know how you guys see it. I personally see it as orange, but I actually hear a lot more people say that it looks yellow. All right guys, so the way that my room is, it's a little bit difficult to show the full key ball as well as like my face while I'm talking so you guys can see my expressions, whatever. So I thought that you guys would probably rather see the key ball and get a good look at that than seeing all the expressions on my face. But here's kind of the most popular way of wearing it, which is obviously wearing it in the front. Whenever you have a key ball with the bandolier strap, it only makes sense to use it, in my opinion. The only times where I'll really only carry it by the handles is if it's a key ball that doesn't have the strap 
or if it's extremely heavy and I'm just going a short distance. Uh, but if you guys are carrying this around or really traveling with it, it really makes sense to just use the strap because it feels a lot lighter. Um, and obviously you have room to use your arms and do whatever you gotta do. So here's kind of how it looks. Obviously it should look a lot different than most key balls. Um, because denim key balls are extremely rare and also the gold hardware is extremely rare as well. And then you guys can see that it looks reversed on this side. For those of you guys who don't know, Louis Vuitton does single cuts. So right here on this side, it'll look normal, like up and down monogram. And then on this side, it'll be upside down. But here's how it looks on the front. Here's also how it looks from the back, which is honestly my favorite way of wearing this bag. A lot of people like to wear it in the front to really flex it and whatever else, but I personally uh, prefer to wear it from the back because it feels the lightest to me and also I have a lot more room with my arms to do whatever I'm doing. Um, but yeah, obviously even this way you guys can still see the monogram on this side, you guys can still see the beautiful orange or yellow color. It's really, really hard to tell for me. Um, because obviously like I mentioned some people see it as orange some people see it as yellow I personally see it as orange, but I'm actually very curious to see how you guys see it um, I'm trying to get the best lighting possible so you guys can kind of have your best judgment there And obviously this keypad will look a little bit better once it is full I don't have anything in it right now so I could show you guys the inside of it But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this keypad um, I also have a few other very rare key balls that I've reviewed on my channel, so also make sure to go ahead and check those out. I already reviewed the Damien Graphite key ball, and I'm going to review the Eclipse key ball, so make sure to look out for that. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, rather than message me on Instagram, I'd really appreciate if you guys could leave it down in the comments so I could answer it for everyone. And let me know what else you guys want to see on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.